Hey guys, Joey here from Clash J Video Productions, and I just got a brand new computer, a brand new laptop featuring the new Windows 8 operating system. Um, just wanted to let you know that, and I'm very impressed with it, but when I was saving up the money for this thing, there were three other laptops that I was going for. One was an Acer Aspire V3772G an HP E020DX and a Lenovo P400 touchscreen. Now real quick before I go into detail with the Toshiba P75 A7200 that I got that I ended up getting, let me just go over the reasons why I didn't get the other three. The Acer Aspire V3772G was in the 900 to 1 grand price range which I simply could not afford it would have taken me longer to save up for it it had all that I wanted on it, it had a 1 terabyte um, hard drive, it had a 1080p screen uh, it had all the features that I basically wanted well the reason why was because even though I think Acer is generally a good company it's a Taiwanese company and the subsidiary brand Gateway is owned by Acer and I have heard some not so great things about the Gateway brand and because of the price I didn't want to be paying that kind of price for something that may or may not be good the HP E020DX, I think that's the model number I did not get because it was only four hundred dollars and I read some reviews on BestBuy.com saying that they were more of a budget oriented laptop which I really wasn't looking for. I was looking for something a little high end, higher end. Finally, the Lenovo P400 touchscreen. I did not get because Lenovo is a Chinese company, and even though I have heard some fairly good things about that company, I was a little skeptical about trying something because the Lenovo laptops, no offense to that company, they look slightly cheaply made. In my opinion, I also read a review on Best Buy about a Lenovo computer letting off some kind of fumes that burns the user's eyes, nose, and throat. And I really obviously didn't want to take that chance. And so I opted for the Toshiba P75 A7200. I was originally going to buy the S75 a7272 which is the sister model of this albeit with the AMD A10 processor reason why I didn't was because a former PE teacher of mine from elementary school told me that he had a computer with an AMD processor which burned itself up and well obviously I didn't want to deal with that either so anyway I ended up with this and um, the reason why I got this one, um, most of you probably know this, um, some of you know this in fact. For those of you who don't know, I have had two other Toshiba laptops previously. The first one I spilled water on the keyboard and shorted it out. I was very lucky that it did not catch on fire and burned me first. Which it did not, but I'm very lucky that it didn't. The second one, which was also a Toshiba, I made the mistake of not closing out the programs and as a result of that I crashed it. Yes, I crashed the computer and my my uncle uh, has a friend that he works with that is currently working on the laptop right now. He couldn't save any of the stuff on the hard drive unfortunately but the good news is, is if he gets it fixed I'll be giving my mom my old laptop. Now I think one of the reasons why, another reason why the other ones didn't last so long was because of the processors. The processors, I'm not, I don't recall exactly what kind of processors were in my other two computers, but I would imagine they were either Intel Celerons or Intel Pentiums. Maybe an Intel i3, but nothing higher than that. And I've heard that Intel Celerons especially, as well as Pentiums, tend to be very, very slow. And given the fact that I'm uploading 1080p full high def videos, I needed something a little quicker. So as a result, 
let me take this off the tripod real quick as a result this is what I got this is a Toshiba P75 A7200 I'll go over some of the features um, let's see Harman Kardon speaker system which is really high quality stuff uh, it's got a chiclet keyboard um, that's a slang term for more spaces between the keys which I thought was going to be kind of hard to get used to but it wasn't so um, that's another one of the features and if you look right here look at that 17.3 Full HD 1920 by 1080 display. You heard that right. Full HD screen, 17.3 inches. This thing is freaking huge. So um, it's a little on the heavy side, but otherwise pretty comfortable to uh, have in my lap. Um, but it's a 1920 by 1080 true bright, true the true bright display. It's got an LED backlit keyboard with 10 keys, and I'll cut the lights in just a minute and show you a demonstration of that. Uh, of course, the Harman Kardon speakers, which I already showed you. It's Energy Star rated, which means that I can leave it plugged in without using a lot of electricity. And finally, and this is one of the main reasons I got it. Look at that Intel Inside Core i7. Intel i7 is basically the fastest pro computer processor on the market and it's great for uh, doing full HD videos which obviously I do so that's a good thing and anyway so let me just cut the lights real quick and I'll show you uh, this backlit keyboard it's pretty sweet so uh, here let me just cut it on real quick yeah look at that that is freaking awesome man but yeah um let me just type in my password real quick I like how quiet the keyboard is too um anyway yeah that's a new Bayo Fang radio that I'm probably going to be getting pretty soon I do have a ham radio but I'm looking for something with a smaller footprint and that just happened to be on there so um but I'll show you a uh, quick uh, demonstration of um, now real quick before I get to this this is the thing that kind of threw me for a loop now if you look at this this is what the interface of Windows 8 looks like not quite what I'm used to obviously it's kind of like a smartphone oriented um, interface so to speak but minus the touch screen, I mean, a lot of the uh, a lot of the newer a few of the newer computers are touch screen. This one is not, however, as you can see, because it's not doing anything. Um, but obviously, um, I have a, I have installed a few other things. One of the things that really got me was I was using Windows Live Movie Maker to do my uploads, so my video uploads, so I could, you know, do several, um, you know, combine separate files and upload it on, all onto one and uh, that was a little bit of a problem obviously because unknown to me until I talked to my buddy Dave who you prob who most of you probably know as Fast Flying Virginian on YouTube he said Windows Live Movie Maker was not pre-installed on Windows 8 computers well I didn't know that so obviously I was kind of at a loss and I thought you know what am I gonna do I'm gonna have to upload them on YouTube separately and then combine them all later it's gonna be a giant pain in the caboose well anyway he told me if I went to Windows Microsoft's website and downloaded the um, movie maker then I would be able to um, use it now if you look right here Windows Movie Maker, I got the Photo Gallery, I got Windows Live Mail, all of that, all of these programs right here were all installed. Um, I installed those before just the Norton 360 and SkyDrive, I think, and maybe Windows Live Messenger were all on that side. Other than that, it was there was nothing on there, on that side. Um, now, I just got this computer a few days ago, so I'm still kind of learning the new Windows 8 system 
it's very Mac-like in a way, um, kind of like an Apple Macintosh computer, and for the record, I really want...